I'm Leslie Watts and I'm going to show you how to make a dry point print using a pasta maker and a piece of plastic that's being cut from a food container. The first thing I'm going to do is tape the piece of plastic onto my reference drawing so it doesn't move. The tool I'm going to use to scratch the image into the plastic is a scalpel. I'm going to be using the scalpel turned over. I don't want the sharp blade to touch the plastic. I'm just going to be using the tip and I'm going to scratch the design by following the line that I've drawn on the piece of paper underneath. Now if I wanted, I could do a lot more detail on this by scratching in scales and I could use cross-hatching to create form, but because I want to do this fairly quickly, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now you'll notice also that I've got some texture down here on the bottom of the ocean, and what I'm going to use to do that is a piece of sandpaper. So now I've set my pasta machine up on the table and it's anchored so it won't shift. And I'm going to take this piece of coarse sandpaper and I'm holding it against the plastic plate and I'm going to roll it through the pasta machine. And that will transfer the texture of the sandpaper onto the plastic plate. The next step is to soak the paper to get it ready for printing and the way I do that is to run it under cold water on both sides and then I'm going to let it sit for a couple of minutes while I ink the plate just so that the water can really soak in. Now I'm going to ink the plastic plate with Akua Intaglio ink. Normally it's recommended that you put this onto the plate using a piece of card, but I'm actually just going to use my finger. This is a small plate. It's water-based ink. It spreads really nicely. And I'm just going to rub it in to make sure that the ink gets into all the little scratches that I've made and all the little holes left by the sandpaper. Once that's done, I'm going to take this piece of tissue paper that, as you can see, has been used several times before, and I'm going to wipe away most of the ink. The ink that will be left on this plate is the ink that's stuck to the parts that I scratched or pressed with sandpaper. The nice thing about this transparent plastic is that you can actually turn it over and see what the print is going to look like once it's been through the press. So I'm going to take off most of the ink. I'm going to clean up the back of it. I'm going to leave a little bit around the edges just because I think it gives it a nice look. And that's pretty well done. Before I reach for the printing paper though, I'm going to go and wash all of this ink off my fingers. Now I'm going to take my dampened Stonehenge printing paper 
and a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to place them together and start rolling them through the pasta machine. Normally on a printing press, you would put the plate and the paper together first, but since I'm working vertically, I don't want there to be any slipping. So now I'm going to take my plate with the inked side against the printing paper. I'm going to place it carefully in between, put the cardstock in, and then roll it through slowly so that the ink has time to transfer onto the paper. Because the card um, and the plate are flexible, it means that they're not going to get jammed up against the bottom of the pasta maker. So I can bend them slightly to pull them all the way through. And now I'm going to take the paper off the plate. And as you can see, I've got a nice transfer. And you can do this as many times as you like, as long as the quality of the line is really good. Thanks for watching. I hope you have fun making prints of your own.